Hello and welcome. So in this lecture we are going to learn how can we move a mailbox, um, user mailbox from one mailbox database to another. So in our previous lecture we learned how can we create a mailbox database and what are the best practices for the e for the EDB file, for the trans transaction logs and uh, for uh, creating your mailbox database. So for if I want to move a user mailbox from one mailbox database to another, I can simply click on recipient and then I can select one of the recipients, for example, Jeff Green. And then in your uh, details pan that you see in here, uh, you got uh, move mailbox to another database option. And simply, once you click, uh, you can simply name it and the name can be move to new database and then move the primary mailbox and archive mailbox if one exists so uh, when you select this option it is going to archive the mailbox uh, if if you have archiving enabled so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the target mailbox and the target mailbox is the new one that we created. We do not have archiving enabled and we are not using archiving. So I'm not going to select any uh, database for archiving right now. Um, bad item limit means that whenever it is trying to s uh, just move all the items like mails and everything uh, from Jeff's green uh, account, if it finds like uh, more than 10 bad items, um, uh, just simply give an error or uh, ignore before uh, 10 so um, after batch uh, report a batch is completed it will send a report uh, to the recipient that you will specify in here automatically start a batch and then automatically complete migration batch and then click on new it will just start it once you uh, click on it. So in Exchange Server 2007 and 10, uh, like in 2007, you just had to right click and then click on move. But in here, it is different now. And I see that it is uh, much better than the earlier version. So do you want to go to the migration pa uh, dashboard to see the status? Yeah, sure. I want to go there uh, because I want to see what it is doing so right now you can see that uh, it is uh, syncing and then the total is one it is not yet finalized it is not yet uh, failed so it is still doing the uh, migration so this is one of the other things that you can simply see so in exchange server 2007 or 10 so what it was doing was like when you were running the task it was simply bringing up a console or something a window for you and then it was just running and running but uh, there is a separate box or separate separate option called migration where you can see all your uh, migrations uh, like uh, all your moves like you when just moving from one mailbox database to another um, or or doing anything like that you can simply see them all check them all that's that's all you can do so this is a great feature in exchange server 2016 so um, it is uh, cute and it was started by administrator on this so it is giving you all the details so it is syncing right now so uh, you can stop it from here you can refresh or when you click in here migration endpoints uh, edit if you want to you can click on detail it is cute right now um, so um, what i want to do is in progress so it is syncing so i can just wait and uh, see when it is going to be done all right so you can see that uh, when I click on view details now and it shows the status as completed so status is completed the data migrated is 26.91 and you can download the report if you want to so if I go back to recipients and then I go to mailbox and then I just go to the properties of Jeff Green 
and then more options in general you can see that the mailbox database is changed to mbdb sac exchange of one so that's how you can move a mailbox uh, from one database to another database so one thing again I want to tell you is for example if you want to move a mailbox database from Sacramento to your New York exchange server database and then the user is in Sacramento the user is not in New York this is a big mistake because whenever you move a user from one database to another database based on the sites like from one site's exchange server database to another site exchange server database and still the user is on the other side uh, they will always have problems accessing so the accessing is going to be very slow so always make sure that whenever you create a database whenever you move a user mailbox you move it to the nearest location for that user so that's how you can uh, do that I hope uh, that was informative for you and I'll see you in next lecture thank you